Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle with Oxmorada Group here today at Oxmoor Toyota. I'm here with Chuck. Hey Gabby. Hey. Uh, all right guys, so we've got the 2020. This is the Toyota Tacoma. It's the TRD Off-Road. And today we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to take it for a drive yes. and show you all the driving capabilities of this vehicle. Right Chuck? Yes, some very cool features. Very excited about this. 2020 was more of a refresh, so mm -hmm. they updated the radio audio system in there, uh, the grill different. Uh, but it's still like the great off-road capable Toyota Tacoma off-road that you know and love. So. Right, exactly. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, let's go take it for a drive. All right. Okay, Gabby, before we take off, I want to show you a couple things. Now, I plugged my iPhone into the main USB right here. And when I do that, it gives me Apple CarPlay. You'll see it pop up here on the home screen. Or you can go to menu and hit Apple CarPlay. And boom, there's my phone. So my phone contacts, my messages, what's currently playing on my phone music-wise. I have uh, Amazon Music, Stitcher is where I get my podcasts, and then Apple Maps is here as well. So I can go into any of these and use that system uh, here. It integrates right with the uh, car, right there on my radio from my phone. All the apps that are Apple, uh, CarPlay compatible, things like Waze, uh, Google Maps, there's some other ones as well. If you listen to Spotify, Pandora, it would all appear there on your map. There's your home screen, so it gets you back to your apps. And then if you want to go back to the regular Toyota radio, you can hit that button it takes you back into this system so you can get into their map system if it's equipped like this car is the audio for the uh, radio xm uh, which you have a trial subscription to on this and then there's some cool features down here i want to show you blind spot monitoring turns on with a button safety feature so i'm going to engage that and it lights up on the side view mirrors in orange mm -hmm. when they're let me show you again there you go so it lights up orange when somebody's in your blind spot when you put the car in reverse and that's engaged it gives you rear cross traffic alert where it will beep you have parking assist. So there's sensors on the back of the truck. So when you're getting too close to something, it will beep to alert you. And then this is a really cool feature too. That back window, if I push that. There's a slide open. You guessed it. Yay. I can't really see it because I can't turn around. Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> little auto thing That's there. That's nice to have. Let the yeah. dog stick his head out. Um, and then you've got your ECT power down here as well. That's your electronically controlled transmission. This gives you a little bit more power if you were towing something, <laughs> driving through the mountains, et cetera, et cetera. You got your Qi wireless charger down there. You can engage there. And in this one, we have dual air control as well. But I want to take you for a drive and show you not all the features of Toyota Safety Sense P, which is the pre-collision system. I will not try to hit a car. <laughs> but yeah, that's good. Yeah, not today. But I will show you the lane departure alert and some of those cool little features too. Because with that Toyota Safety Sense P, what you have is lane departure alert, pre-collision with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar, cruise control. You also have automatic high beams. So at night, what happens is your lights will automatically come on when it gets dark. And then when you're traveling approximately 25 miles an hour or faster, um, your automatic high beams will kick on when there's no headlights or taillights in front of you. So it's a really cool feature. Everybody knows if you're on a dark country road to kick on the high beams, you know, mm -hmm. but you don't realize when you're driving through a neighborhood and those high beams kick on and you're like, oh gosh, there was a bike, you know, on the side of the road or a garbage can or a person like it just increases your uh, visibility uh, at times when you wouldn't think to flip on your high beams. All right. So I want to show you on the steering wheel here, you have two buttons. One is the lane departure alert. It's this one here. It looks like a car leaving a lane. You can engage that turn it off and turn it back on as you're driving. So you can do it on the fly and whatever you set it at is what it stays at. So Gabby, one of the fun things about the uh, Tacoma is the shocks on it. Mm -hmm. It's meant for off-roading. It's a desert racing vehicle. And so these speed bumps that are back here are pretty oh. gnarly. Jeez. <laughs> Don't try that at home. Don't try that at oh, home. Oh, Lord. But it just took it. It was fun. <laughs> it's fun to drive these things. It is, it is fun. I'll go a little slower for this one. There, there we go. There we that go. That was nice. That's not too bad. Nah. So one thing I want to point out is the lane departure here. So on your steering wheel, you have two buttons, the lane departure and the dynamic radar cruise control. Lane departure, you can turn on and off, and it gives you that alert that it's unavailable approximately below 32 miles an hour. Um, however, there we go, it will light up white here in the center when it's reading those lines. So you know that the system's working. When they brine the roads like they do here in Louisville for, you know, weather and it basically whitewashes the roads and the lines disappear, you'll know that it's not picking up that line because it's looking for uh, solid and dotted yellow and white lines. Now the cool thing, cruise control, if you look here in the center screen, 
radar ready, you'll see these three bars appear when you set cruise control. That's the max distance between you and the car in front of you where it will um, automatically slow down to keep you from a predetermined distance from the vehicle in front of you when you're in cruise control like on the highway. You can adjust that speed on the fly with this button. The car with the waves going off the front, those are the radar waves and you can adjust that from, if you look here in the center screen, from three to two to one. So that just closes the distance. I'm comfortable at one, some people are comfortable at two. It feels like it's just you going with the flow of traffic. And frankly, it's further back than I would be if I was just driving and controlling it. So as you can see, it's picking up the line over here. So if you drift over, it gives you that alert to let you know that you've ended into another lane. So a cool little safety feature. All right, so real quick, before we uh, wrap up this test drive, I want to show you some of the off-road capabilities and this really cool feature that's available in the TRD off-road. So I'm going to kind of ease up over this curb here. Hang on. All right, so we are on a very steep incline off-roading at this point. All right, so once you go to four low and then you engage the crawl control button up here, I got it set to the lowest speed. And then all I have to do is steer at this point. So I take my foot off and it's going to crawl and pull. It sounds kind of like it's ripping the engine out, but it's controlling the traction. It's controlling the driving. And I'm going to take over here because we're getting close to the wall. But a really cool feature if you're stuck in some gnarly sand, mud, rocks, you can use this crawl control and it will control the transmission, the traction control to actually drive the car for you. You just steer. Really cool really feature. Cool. You only want to be in four low and stuck. You don't want to use this on pavement. So cool little demonstration. Now get out. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. You did some great driving. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys, if you have any questions on this vehicle, if you'd like to stop in, uh, take one for a test drive yourself, let us know. Give us a call. Best phone number is 502-214-7085. Also, make sure to check out our new Express store on our website at oxmartoyota.com. I'll have a link to this in the comments. Thanks, guys, and we had fun, and uh, hopefully we'll see you all next week. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.